how do we clean wood if we're if we're brand new to it? Like, what can we do wrong? What are the best practices, essentially? Soft washing is all about cleaning and killing organic material. So whether we're talking about mold, mildew, algaes, uh, fungus issues, which is kind of odd, rare, but uh, gliocapsin magma on roofs, that's a bacteria. We've got all these microbes that can grow on surfaces. So the go-to thing that we use for that is bleach. That's industry standard. Use it every day. Bleach is like our lifeblood, right? Well, when you're cleaning wood, you've got to realize that you're killing all those organic things, but they are sitting on an organic thing, which is wood. So wood itself is organic, uh, organic based. Now, if it's painted wood, then you're cleaning paint. But if it's just exposed or if it's uh, stained or anything like that, then you've got to be a whole lot more careful because you can damage the wood chemically. You can damage it. Uh, bleach. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, check out Quote IQ. It'll be linked in the comment section and the description as well. You can soft wash wood. Okay. Done it for years. You just have to know what you're doing. You can you can put bleach on it. You just got to be at the right percentage. You've got to pre-wet. You've got to uh, rinse, 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 rinse a whole lot. And there's even chemicals that you can apply after the soft wash process to sort of neutralize uh, the bleach and kind of bring it back down to a neutral pH so that it's not going to continue to damage and eat away at the wood fiber. In the cellular wall of uh, wood fiber, there's a protein called lignin. Bleach will actually attack that protein and it can break it apart. You can make wood look uh, really off colored, white, more white than the natural wood color. So chemically, it you can damage it. Now, pressure is also bad for wood. You don't want to really blast, you know, 3,800 PSI into a deck. It's not a good idea. You want to be low pressure as possible. Sometimes you can put a little bit of pressure on there, but you don't, you don't want to slap even, you know, a yellow tip on a standard machine is going to be a lot of PSI. Another thing we see guys do a lot of times is they're okay on the pressure side. They're using a pressure washer in the one, uh, but stopping mid board, which is sometimes hard to not do if it's a long run, you can see the, the points where you stopped and started at. So, you would rather use Kim's and you just got to know how to use them. And then you got to make sure that you soak that wood down and, and rinse it all back off. If you want to go and do it the correct way, there's better Kim's than bleach for wood cleaning, which is going to be things like sodium percarbonate based cleaners, sodium. Here's a fun word. Metasilicate based cleaners, metasilicate based cleaners, uh, which are. They're going to clean the wood, but they're not going to attack the wood fibers themselves. So if you've got a soft wash system and you see a privacy fence, by all means, you can clean it, um, but you just got to be really careful.